I know, never in a million years did I think I'd be making a Fortnite video, and it's definitely different to what I usually cover, but what this game is doing and become, I feel like I need to talk about it. I've never been a big player of Fortnite. Sure I played when the game first came out, and was all the rage, when Battle Royale was at its peak, but like many others, I did get a bit burnt out. Maybe it's cause I was trash at the building side, and I couldn't keep up. It was a good, well made game. But it was time for me to move on, and most games, except for a few, after some years, do tend to mellow out, and while still get respectable numbers, don't usually hit that high peak again. But Fortnite does not stop. Over the years, Epic has set a standard for live service support, constant updates, interesting tie-in events like concerts from Travis Scott and Marshmallow, and these numbers attracting various companies to include their properties in Fortnite, from Kratos of God of War to Star Wars. Everything has been in Fortnite, except Mario. I don't know if Nintendo will let that happen. And then, in late 2023, we saw the return of the OG season. Going back to the original map that Fortnite started with, Fortnite achieved its highest numbers of 44.7 million players in one day, six years after the game first released. But I still wasn't too worried about it. It didn't seem like enough for me to come back. That was until late last year, they added three new game modes to Fortnite. And what I played absolutely blew me away. And I can definitely say Fortnite is good again. And today, I want to talk about these three modes and why you should give Fortnite another go. Even if you were like me and were done with it, I think it's offering enough stuff for you to give it another try. The first game mode is Rocket Racing. Developed by Psyonix, who worked on Rocket League, who were acquired by Epic Games in 2019. Rocket Racing is a simple but fun arcade racer. It has no items or pickups on the track, instead a focus on drifting for boosts, similar to Mario Kart. Rocket Racing also has a mechanic where you can flip your car upside down, and the ability to fly to avoid hazards and reach secret areas. Drifting while keeping an eye out for speed boosts on each course is the aim of the game in Rocket Racing. It's simple, it's fun, and you can pick this up in a few minutes, and it's just a cool wee mode. And as you progress in the ranks, races become a lot more involved sometimes resulting in a mad dash to the finish, where one mistake can cost you the race. Rocket Racing also ties in with Fortnite progression. You're able to unlock cars and some cosmetics carry between the two modes. However, there's no split screen here yet, but I'd say that wouldn't be too far off, considering the original Fortnite mode now has it. Rocket Racing also is a bit light on content, but this is just the beginning of a new game mode, and going off what Epic can do, it's going to be exciting to see what else they bring to Rocket Racing. It's a great racing game that you can seamlessly jump into from within the Fortnite menus. The second mode is LEGO Fortnite, and this is where I started to get really blown away. LEGO Fortnite is Fortnite's take on the survival crafting genre, and boy, does it work. It's impressive what this game mode does out of the box. The LEGO franchise is the perfect fit for this genre, as you are crafting structures literally out of LEGO. When buildings break apart, they crumble realistically in little LEGO pieces. All of this immediately feels familiar. When starting a world in LEGO Fortnite, similar to games like Minecraft or Valheim, you can adjust world settings to make it as easy or as hardcore as you want. Survival mechanic staples are here in LEGO Fortnite, starting off with nothing and progressively developing through better tools, better resource gathering, and better buildings. But they do streamline a few things, with a helpful NPC at the beginning suggesting what you should be working on next, and over time, more NPCs can join your settlement, helping with various things. Fortnite's audience is generally a bit younger, so you can see why some mechanics are more streamlined, and there's more of a focus on NPC help and cooperation. But even with some of these streamlined systems, there is more than enough here in LEGO Fortnite. And this is only the beginning. LEGO Fortnite also allows for up to 8 people running around in a world together. You could easily spend a few hours here, which I may have done. Thunderstorms and pinatas add more of the usual Fortnite flair. And the costumes you have in base Fortnite come across to LEGO Fortnite. Not every costume comes across, but a surprising amount does, completely redone in LEGO form, which is a great touch. Some of the more hardcore audience might be unsure about the depth of LEGO Fortnite systems, but for a first jump into this new mode, LEGO Fortnite is pretty amazing. And finally, my favourite of the three game modes is Fortnite Festival. Basically, Guitar Hero or Rock Band in Fortnite. And that's not an exaggeration, the developers behind Fortnite Festival are Harmonix, 
the makers of Rock Band recently acquired by Epic Games in 2021. Epic Games definitely know what they are doing and building for the future. It works exactly the same as these previous rhythm games, hitting music notes as they come up on screen. Only thing is, the song options are definitely a lot more sparse this time round and a focus on pop songs. Although Epic have recently announced they are beginning to add songs every week, so this library will grow pretty fast. It is a bit heavy on the monetization, with new songs costing a certain amount of V-Bucks, but the potential is there to have a big amount of genres within Fortnite Festival. Speaking of V-Bucks, if you are planning to buy some, be sure to use creator code JDOGSUPREME as this really helps support me. On top of the main mode of Fortnite Festival, a side activity is the jam stage, where groups of people can all have an actual music jam session. People can play in groups of four, each playing their own instrument, playing their own part of a song. One part can be playing the guitar for Mr. Brightside, while someone plays the drums for Seven Nation Army. It sounds messy, but it all syncs up to the same BPM and it just works and is a lot of fun. Chuck in a few friends and some random fifth guy dancing to the music that makes for some hilarious moments. Another massive thing is they are working on bringing support to your guitar controllers. So those controllers you used for Guitar Hero and Rock Band back in the day, eventually they will work again. Epic did say sometime early this year, that in itself is a massive game changer. If you are wanting a modern rock band, Fortnite Festival is something definitely to keep an eye on. These three game modes, Rocket Racing, LEGO Fortnite and Fortnite Festival, each dive into a completely different direction, completely expanding what Fortnite is known for. Fortnite has dramatically grown over the years, to the point that it's no longer just a game, it's become its own service, its own platform, whatever you'd want to call it. And if you are no longer interested in Fortnite like I was, at least one of these game modes will have something to bring you back. Let me know what you think of Fortnite and what they are doing. Do you like any of the new game modes? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video as it really helps me out. I would say subscribe for more videos like these, but I am not planning to cover Fortnite specifically, but for more general discussions of games and what's happening in the industry, hit that subscribe button. Thanks Supreme Team. Until next time, you've been watching JDog Supreme.